Time. Alumni? No. <laughs> not, not just yet. <laughs> Goes by the name of Pet Egg, Bun Rai Monta. His real name is Peter Tep Tian Tong. 19 years of age, 175 centimeters tall, from Ratchaburi province in the western part of Thailand. His total of 52 fights, 48 victories, and 4 losses. All right, so this is the fifth bout. Sorry, no, no, it's not. Ignore that. It's the seventh bout of the evening. And it is in the white corner, that man from Iran, Heida Eskendari. And in the black corner, it is Pet Ek Banrai Monta. And taking off Pet Ek's Mong corner, of course, is Sayok Pumpamuang. Last time that we saw Pet Ek Ban Rai Monta, I believe was on Thai Fight 28 or 29, it was one of them where he took on Mexican fighter George Castro and he knocked him out with a beautiful one-two hand combination in round number one. High hopes for Pet Ek. There you go, referee Pukki Prampayu gets the action started. Yeah, Pet Ek, what we know about him, he's a very powerful young fighter. Puts everything he has. I feel like the uh, there's a lot of promise from the management behind him as well. Just get that feeling because he has a great look about him as well. He does, I mean... That doesn't matter, of course, if you cannot produce in that ring. Ever since we saw him in the first Thai Fight League, or the first time we saw him in the Thai Fight League, I mean, we expected big things from this young man. But it's not gone all good for Pet Ek. He's had a few losses here already. But a lot of good knockout Oh, wins. good right hand there! Beautiful timing by Haydar. A good placement as well. And Haydar, I think he's trying to go for the single leg takedown. Not sure what that was. I've seen so many good Iranian fighters. I mean, a few years ago, Iranian fighters that would come to Thailand, they were getting whooped week in, week out. I wouldn't say they were a joke. Oh! oh. Over the ropes he goes. Nope, stays in. But now, the level of improvement is, has been insane. That's right. I mean, I used to com commentate, you know, in patio yeah. daily. And then um, used to be so many Iranians that go there and they would just get dropped or get exactly, be beaten yeah. very easily. But Same now. Time fight before you came as well. Yeah, but it's so different now. It is. The level has gone up so much. And the opportunities, of course, a lot more. They've really been learning their craft and starting to really excel at this sport. Good left jab there. By Pet Ek, and swings her over and left. Heda moving out of the way. Once again, grabs a hold of the leg. I'm not sure what it is that he's going for, though. Every single time he gets kicked, he decides to grab the leg and just push forward. I'm not sure how that helps him in any way. Well, Heda a little bit apprehensive right now. I'm not sure what he's waiting for. Might have tied himself out. Could have done. Could be the case. His corner is screaming at him to push forward. He's not doing that right now, but at the same time, Pet Egg needs to do exactly just that. Oh, swinging left hand there from Pet Egg. Just when I spoke. Something seems wrong, potentially with Hada. Anyway, end of round one here on Thai Fight. There you can see a beautiful left kick. The start of round number one by Pet Ek. Beautiful right hand there from Heda Eskendari. It really did cause problems and issues for Pet Ek at the beginning of the round, but at the end, I don't know if something was bothering Heda, but he was just standing still. He almost took Pet Ek out of the ring, almost went on to main event WrestleMania. Unfortunately, it was not to be. And instead, after that, that was right at the end, he was just standing. Wrestling references. No, we don't, do we? <laughs> yes, we do. It's becoming a, a weekly thing here. Oh. All right. Oh, right. High kick there from Pet Ek. Oh! oh! And once again, doubling up and taking it to Hagar. Somehow manages to get back to his feet. I'm not sure how, because that connected flush. I don't think Hagar expected the second kick to come in such quick succession. But Pet Ek, he's going to go for it again. You can tell. Oh, and what's a right hand and down he goes. And, and that is it. That's it. It's all over. I'm telling you, there was an issue with 
Ryan Haydar at the end of round number one. And at the, at the start or the beginning of round number two, it was the same. And my goodness, did Pet Ek take full advantage. Two right high kicks. The second one taking Haydar down. And when he got back to his feet, a straight right hand finishes him off. Quite honestly, Haydar looks spaced out. Yeah, 100%. At the end of the first round and at the beginning of the second round. So not sure what's going on there. Nevertheless, though, congratulations to Pet Ek Ban Rai Monta. Every single fight. So there was indeed the second right high kick. You see the eyes almost rolling into the back of the head from Haydar Eskandari. I'm not even sure how he managed to get back to his feet. That was the first. And then you can see the second there, taking him down. And that was indeed the beginning of the end. I mean, that catcher could only protect you so much from high kicks like that. Wrapping his shin just to the top, above the ear. I mean, the eyes are pretty much gone. And then Pet Egg doing exactly what he needed to do. I mean, it was, it didn't really even connect, did it? It was a jab and then... I believe he was just wobbled yeah. already. The winner by technical knockout. Black Corner, Pet Egg from Rodbury!